Hey, Sean Clement here from the Richmond Hill Golf Learning Center. Today I'm doing a remake of my bunker video. So you're gonna see I'm gonna be starting to make a few remakes of my old videos with higher quality equipment, all that stuff. And you know, in the last four years I've gotten better at teaching the stuff that I teach. And uh, you know, thanks to a lot of your comments and, and my students here at the Learning Center. So we're gonna recreate the best bunker shot scenario right here. So we got our lob wedge or our sand wedge. You'll actually find that the lob wedge works even better. Now there's one thing we know really well up here in Canada and that's, that's snow plows. So if this was the surface of the water and I was gonna take some, some water right here, I'm gonna spray it towards my, my buddy in the pool here. I'm gonna shim my hand across the water. Look at the angle of my hand. So I shim my hand across the water and the water just jets out. So when you open the face of the club, when the face of the club opens up, you see how the bounce of the club is angled in a way that it's gonna move sand forward. If you open the blade too much, it cannot move sand forward. It's like a snow plow where, you know, the, the blades of the plow are completely uh, uh, brought inward and the plow is just moving forward and it's not moving any snow to the side or forward. That would be a too, up, too open in the club face. Now, if the club face is square, I don't advocate that at all, okay? Because like a snow plow, if you take the shovels, the wings of the snow plow and put them, put them square, then the snow plow will accumulate way too much snow and get stuck. So you want them angled about a 30 to 45 degree angle, which is exactly what we're doing here. So when we open the face about 30 degrees, when you skip, when the, when the, when the, uh, the blade goes into the sand, the sole of the club, it's the sole of the club that's gonna move the sand forward. So you're using momentum, like in our short game, you'll see in our short game series, and in that latest video I just brought out with the horseshoes. So you're using a, the horseshoe momentum to toss a divot of sand onto the green where you want the ball to land. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to toss some sand up on the green. So I'm gonna open the face, my stance will open very slightly. For a lot of you with that open face, you'll feel very uncomfortable. And you'll think, well, if I open the face this much, I'm gonna to have to open my body that much to compensate. It really isn't as much as the face tells you, all right? Because when you open the face of the club, uh, especially with a lob wedge or a sand wedge, it's very much a glancing blow. So the ball will, will deflect to the right maybe 10 degrees if you open it about 30 to 45 degrees. So you open the face first, and then you open yourself very slightly to the left. Now a bunker shot, since we open the face and we aim a little bit left, this is a fade through and through. So look at my video working the ball, and you'll see how important it is to play the ball position a little forward to center for your flop shots and for your bunker shots. So I get set up, club in the center, ball forward to the club, and I feel like I'm gonna hit a fade from the left side of the flag back to the flag, maybe three, four feet, okay? So from here, now all I gotta do is toss some sand onto the green. Now, some fun stuff. Take a couple of pennies and pop some pennies onto the green with that skipping action. It'll look like this. So you see how I'm sending the sand out there? This will also tell you, if you look at the stream of sand, it'll tell you how open or closed you are. So if you're not open enough, it's like, whoa, sand's going that way. Well, I must be aligned too much to the right. And you would be, right? So bring it over here. Now, if you were too open, wow, the stream of sand's going way too far to the left. So I want the stream of sand going in the direction slightly left of the flagstick. Very easy for alignment, isn't it? So I get set up. The ball is just a big grain of sand. My eyes are on an inch, on a, on a grain of sand about an inch behind the ball, but I'm not focused on that either. What I'm focused on is taking the divot of sand and sending it all the way to the flagstick. So I'm gonna take the divot of sand and dump it right into the hole with momentum. There we have it. Okay, now if I wanted to pop the, the divot of sand just outside the bunker, it would look like this. So notice just enough momentum to get the sand over the lip of the bunker. So for the short bunker shots, you need less momentum. 
For the long bunker shots, you need more momentum. Let's say I wanted to dump some sand into that tree. So the long bunker shots that everybody hates so much are very, very easy. So I'm going to take the sand and I'm going to spray that tree behind the green with some sand. And I got a 62 degree here, guys. Okay? So all the way to that tree. There you go. I'm this far from that tree. The tree from here is about 50 yards away, 45 to 50 yards. It's way at the back of the green. So it's not about how much sand you take behind the ball. It's always the same amount of sand. It's not about if you open it more or less. It's the same amount open because we're using the sole of the club to move sand. You open it too much, you can't move sand forward. You don't open it enough, it gets stuck. Okay? So if you want to see how you do uh, a buried bunker shot, go to my Golf Pro Lesson Buried Bunker Shot and you'll see the technique for that, okay? We're moving the sand with a closed face, all right? If you keep it square, it'll accumulate, but if you close it 30 to 45 degrees, how's that? So I close the face and now it's digging its own trench. So notice how it moves the sand to the side. You can't see it from there, but you'll see it in my other video. So here we go. Pop the sand onto the front of the green. There it is. Break. Four feet. Okay? So I'll give you a view from the front and then enjoy that. Okay, so from this angle, I'm going to skip one just outside the bunker. So how much momentum do I need to skip it just outside the bunker? About that much. I'm going to skip one to the front of the green. Get that rock out of the way. There we go. Skip one just to the front fringe. There you go. Now I'm going to skip one all the way to the flag stick. How much momentum do I need to skip the sand all the way into the hole? Super duper. And then I'm going to skip one all the way to the tree past the flag stick. Now I'm going to need a lot more momentum, a lot more momentum for that. So I'm going to add some twirl to that momentum. All the way to the tree behind the bunker. Beautiful. So you notice how I'm just using the right amount of momentum to skip the sand in the direction I want to land the ball. It really is that simple. So we're not thinking about how much sand am I going to take and do how much do I open the club. The club face is always open the same amount. You're always taking the same amount of sand behind the ball if you're going to go that picky. My eyes are on a grain of sand about an inch behind the ball, but I'm not focused on that grain of sand. I'm focused on how much momentum do I need to take that divot of sand and pop it out onto the green where I want to land the ball. Really, really, really that simple. Okay? Enjoy that.